If you're looking at holding an IPF sanctioned powerlifting competition, you will need an, an IPF approved combo rack. At the moment, the options are pretty limited in Australia. You've got the Hansu and Rogue combo rack that are around the $5,000 mark, or you can try and get hold of an Alico combo rack, but I don't think you'd get much change from $10,000. So the ATX IPF approved combo rack at 3,200 is pretty attractive. It's the same price or even a bit cheaper than some combo racks that aren't even IPF approved. But I guess the question is, is it any good? What's the catch at that price? So we'll start off with the, the build. So I like to start from the top. And as you can see, we've got um, barbell protection here on the front the custom nylon uh, inserts. Now the J-hooks for the squats can be adjusted from 110 to 170 centimeters. The bench press J-hooks from 74 to 134 centimeters. Now the, the J-hooks featured grooved nylon rollers that have needle bearings. So this means that you can center the bar laterally without damaging your barbell or using any precious energy, even when the bar is fully loaded. The groove in the roller means that the bar is always centered front to back. And on the J-hooks, it's got a, a extra low lip. So it's enough to stop the, the barbell rolling off, but low enough to give you the easiest possible lift off. Now for height adjustment, the height can be adjusted in increments of 25 millimeters. A small but important detail is that the, the numbers on the uh, laser cut at the back. So this makes it much easier in a competition for the spotters to adjust to the correct height. To make the adjustments, you use these um, solid steel pins. They're actually magnetic, which makes them easier to get into place. Inside the uprights, they've got timber inserts that have been drilled out. So this makes sliding the locking pin through a whole lot easier. The holes are that closely spaced that if it didn't have the timber, you might have trouble finding the hole. Once again, it's just these little details that makes the job easier when you're, when you're under pressure in a competition. At the back is the lever adjustment arm. It's long and solid and it generates enough leverage so you can easily lift up the bar with heavy loads and make the necessary adjustments. Plus, there's a little storage location for the locking pin. Another small detail that just adds to the experience is that the lever arm rests on this little rubber stopper, so it's not gonna be banging onto the upright. The uprights are secured in place inside the housing using the ATX sleeve system. This makes moving up and down the upright smooth and stable without having to worry about cheap cap style sleeves pop, popping off, or if it's metal on metal, it'll wreck the, the surface of the uprights. Now moving on to the tilting system, the base of the uprights here are very impressive. It, it's a solid structure design for the heaviest loads of competition, yet it features a simple uh, tilting system for squatters who like a, a wider grip you can tilt the uprights in 7.5 degrees. Now there's an, a, an adjustable red lever here that you lift up and a, a pin with a button at the back and lift up, pull back, push back in and you're away. It all can be done with one hand. So that once again makes it easy in competitions. Now while we're looking at the base, just check out the welds. They're smooth and continuous. It's a great demonstration of the technology that the ATX, um, ATX factory has got. It just has lifted the quality and standard so much. Spotters on a combo rack might not seem like such a big deal, but they can actually be deadly if they're not properly designed. Now you'll notice on this rack that the spotters actually wrap tightly around the uprights. They are that close that they've actually got little inserts that prevent rubbing on the uprights. If there is a gap between the spotters and the uprights, there is the potential for the, the barbell to slip between the gap if you fail on a, a, on a bench press, which can be deadly. Now the spotters are 53 centimeters long. They have thick uh, rubber barbell protection. 
the angled lips at the at the front stop the barbell rolling off and they've got the face saver sections at the front so you can get the full range of motion. Height is adjustable from 59 to 86 and a half centimeters in 25 millimeter increments. And just like the uprights, they've got the, the numbers laser cut and the timber inserts. When it comes time to remove the spotter arms, you just need to unscrew those chrome um, knob bolts no tools are required. Now we'll move on to the bench. This is probably one of the standout features on the ATX combo rack. First off, it's decked out with this extra grip, grippy polyurethane pad. It is designed for lifting big numbers and durability. If you're a delicate, don't buy this bench, but I don't think delicate is a trait that is found in competitive power lifters, so that won't be an issue. At the back, there's sizable spotter platforms. They are 18 centimeters off the ground, which is great for spotting, but not for teabagging. So I think there'll be a few people disappointed. What makes this bench really handy is that it can be removed easily. Once again, there's got the chrome knobs that can be unscrewed by hand. The bench can then be wheeled out. It is, even has a, a handle at the front. Now, the bench can actually be used apart from the combo rack. So if you're using it in your gym, it is just another bench option that you can have if you, if you decide to set up the combo rack for squats. Now, the base of the rack of the bench feature non-slip rubber at all the contact points. Now, I guess it comes down to um, how do you choose the right combo rack? I guess I've identified weight as one of the biggest differences between the combo racks. Now, the Rogue combo rack weighs in at 505 pounds. The Hansu is listed at 240 kilos, but that includes the packaging. While the Alico is 148 kilos, and this ATX one weighs in at 130 kilos. Now, it's worth noting that the previous ATX combo rack was the heaviest at 238 kilos. It was built like a tank, but it was hard to move. There is a good reason why ATX went in the same direction as the Leco. IPF approved combo racks are naturally built for competitions. Competitions are generally held all over the place. So making a combo rack easy to move is a bonus. Now you're probably thinking, um, does it make it less safe or less stable? Well, you can see for yourself, as the ATX combos have been seen in many competitions and many gyms, besides weight does not seem to have been a factor for Alico over the years, which is often regarded as the gold standard in powerlifting equipment. If you do have concerns, you can just chuck a pair of heavy rubber hex dumbbells on the base. You'll see this at some competitions. In a gym environment, the base has actually got pre-drilled holes so if you wanted to you could anchor it into your floor then i guess the other deciding factors is the features and quality aside from the weight your decision will be based on how the various features of all the different combo racks stack up in comparison also the build quality will play a part too as the cheapest combo rack in the comparison do the other racks offer superior features or quality in business, sometimes you can price something too cheaply. There've been uh, many a documented case where increasing prices has led to sales. Sometimes price is regarded as a signal of quality. Now, I could easily price this rack uh, higher and still be the cheapest, but just like ATX, we aim to give our customers the best value um, possible. In particular, we regard powerlifting as a benefit for everyone in the fitness industry. It encourages people to get in the gym and train with purpose. So we like to support that. In regards to quality, the ATX combo rack is one of the best um, built items in the, in the ATX range. Naturally, they want their brand to perform um, on the platform so the world can see it. Now I think the whole world now has finally seen 
where the quality of ATX products stands when compared to the, the market leaders around the world. So I don't need to bang on too much about their quality standards, I feel. But if you're in Sydney, you can come in and try this one out. It's all set up, ready to go. Or you can see the, how they perform in like many powerlifting competitions throughout the world. Hopefully, you might even get to lift on one soon at your next competition, or you might go to a gym and they've got one set up and you can try that out.